What's going on you guys? So I've got another Dell Optiplex 3040. Gonna be upgrades. Remove the psycho panel. So I'm just gonna use a Phillips head to get this thumb screws in the back. I'm gonna slide to the left. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the front cover basil first before you're gonna pull this. Wanna do that quickly. You're gonna slide it. So first one I'll do is I'm gonna upgrade the Soul State Drive. It's got the 256. I'm gonna upgrade to 500 gigs. Install it. it goes like this. This is a toolless design. And install it back. Okay. Right, this is bent. So what I will do is now is I'm gonna go back to the front here and I'm gonna uh, install a two, uh, two terabytes hard drive, three and a half inch. So you move this, you do actually don't need this. And what you're gonna do is see this little latch right here, press it down, and it slides to the right. And it's gonna install it like this. I'm gonna show you guys. So and also two less design, just like that. And you're gonna slide it back in. You can only, you cannot install like this. You have to install like that. Uh, set a power and, and cable is gonna be going that way. And I'm gonna forget to show you guys. Uh, uh, you see this for, for the front cover basil? Okay, you guys probably don't know the trick. Okay, so this right here, you see there's an air vent right here for the airflow. This has a little plastic piece in the back like this that it's actually mounted into the case. See that right here? So what it does is it blocks the airflow. So what you have to do is you need to get a flathead screwdriver, uh, gently uh, lift it up like this, and you're gonna gently, like gently, slowly, slowly, and rip that come out. Cause see it holds. Right here, you see the little plastic that's how to hold the uh, front air for their uh, little vent, plastic vent. But this comes out, and what you have to do is you have to use a super glue. I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, you will have to use uh, super glue gel. That's what I'm using. And basically, you're gonna, you're gonna the way you're gonna mount this little air vent in the front here, and when it comes out. You're gonna apply here in the top like this and right here in the corner, right side like that. And you're gonna install it just like that. This right here, you see this air vent? Cause it will come out, but right now look at that. There's gonna be better airflow. This is actually blocking it. It's not good. Now it's gonna be a lot better. So that's what you have to do. Now, what I will do is uh, upgrade the RAM and video cord what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this back connect the cable setting power for the soul state drive and the hard drive 
But I recommend you if you guys gonna be installing Windows uh, 10 or Windows 11, um, you basically gonna install it for on, on the boot main OS right here for the solid state drive. This would be the, for the extra storage SSHD that's actually still slow, but go install Windows 10 or 11 on the solid state drive. This is for the extra storage that I will need. I'm gonna connect that. And also be really careful the wires right here. See the SATA power cable? They have to be laying flat. See right here? Because when you close it, it's so, so it does not touch the fan. So what I'll do is got a eight gigs of RAM DDR3L. The only you can install in here. I'll put a link in the description. You guys can install it. I'm installing a stick of eight gigs. So that'll be total sixteen gigs dual channel. And be the last part is the video card. It's got a R7 200 series video card in here. Uh, pretty slow, so I'm gonna remove it and do that, guys. You know, so then we're gonna pull it. See right here, the little pin right here. You press it up like this. You hold it with your finger first, like that. Then you pull the video card out, just like that. So you're gonna press on it up like this gently. Then you lift it at the same time. It's got a display port and DVI. I'm gonna be using guys. Uh, G GT 1030. This is a lot better video card. It's got a DVI and an HDMI port. It's a lot faster. And also, you guys don't forget that the video card is actually GDDR5 because they make it GDDR4. They sell online. That's a slow video card. Just don't buy it. Just go on the one with the GDDR5. I put in the link because there it's also sell at the same price, but with the GDDR4, that's a lot slower. So just don't buy the video card. It's not worth it, it's the same price. So what I'm gonna do is install it. You guys probably can't see really well, okay. Huh. Video card is installed. I'm gonna move it to the other side so you guys can see it. And it's basically this computer only has one PCI Express times 16 slot. The blue one, that top one is a times one. And the two bottom ones right here are actually also times one. And it's got a CPU i5 in here, 6500, but you can also upgrade to 6 Gen 6700 i7 if you want to. But also I recommend uh, you're gonna disconnect the heatsink fan, pull it out, uh, clean out the old thermal compound, reapply the new one. Because also this computer is already a few years old and uh, the, I guess the thermal compound is already dry. I'm going to do that later. So you guys, be the end of the video. Just uh, And the power supply in here is also actually 240 watts. So you basically you can still install the GTX 1650 in here perfectly fine. This power supply will be perfectly. So you guys, let me cool this up. And don't forget guys, you guys do not have to install this little piece right here because this blocks the airflow. You're gonna move that out. So you see it's gonna be a lot better airflow right here with the hard drive and right here. Can you see that? You guys the back side and this is how it's gonna look like video card so you guys be the end of the video i forgot to tell you guys if you guys need a wireless card uh they also sell this on amazon and basically you just install it right in the back uh the usb right here just like that and the reason why i use it with the antenna it just works a lot better without antenna it's not really good and this is basically 2.4 and you can go 5 gigahertz it's ac pretty good pretty good about what else they actually sell this on amazon i'll put a link in the description you guys can buy it that's how you get it so you guys be in the video thanks for watching bye